Hello students my name is Alok Simwal and in today's lecture I am going to discuss about mode of action of insulin and other hypoglycemic agents So first of all mode of action of insulin Insulin acts on specific receptors located on the cell membrane of practically every cell but their density depends on the cell type For example liver and fat cells are very rich in insulin receptors This diagram is showing an insulin receptor. The insulin receptor is a receptor tyrosine kinase. In short form, it is known as RTK receptor. This receptor is a heterotetrameric glycoprotein consisting of two extracellular alpha and two transmembrane beta subunits linked together by disulfide bonds. The alpha subunits carry insulin binding sites while the beta subunits have tyrosine kinase activity. Binding of insulin to alpha subunits activates tyrosine kinase activity of the beta subunits. Tyrosine residues in beta subunits are phosphorylated then this phosphorylates tyrosine residues of insulin receptor substrate in short form which is known as IRS insulin receptor substrate in turn catalyzes phosphorylation of other enzymes through which the metabolic effects of insulin are mediated Now this flow chart is showing detailed mode of action of insulin. Various representations used here are IRS for insulin receptor substrate, PI3K for phosphoinositide 3 kinase, PIP2 for phosphatidyl inositol diphosphate, PIP3 phosphatidyl inositol triphosphate, GLUT4 for glucose transporter 4 and GSK3 for glycogen synthase kinase 3 activates phosphoinositide 3 kinase which converts phosphatidyl inositol diphosphate to phosphatidyl inositol triphosphate which indirectly activates protein kinase B which is PKB. Now this activated phosphorylated protein kinase B triggers the movement of glucose transporter GLUT4 from internal vesicles to plasma membranes which stimulates glucose uptake from blood. Glycogen formation takes place through series of steps in which phosphorylated protein kinase B phosphorylates glycogen synthase kinase 3 to phosphorylated glycogen synthase kinase 3 thereby inactivating it inactivated GSKP is unable to convert glycogen synthase GS to inactive glycogen synthase GSP so it remains active and glycogen synthesis takes place uninterrupted Insulin lowers the glucose level in blood by increased transport of glucose from blood to cells and convert into glycogen. Lowering glucose in the blood stops glycosuria, thus lowering elevated diuresis and thrust, normalizing carbohydrate, protein and fat volume and reducing diabetic coma. This slide is showing detailed mode of action of insulin. Next is mode of action of oral hypoglycemic agents. First of all, mode of action of sulfonylureas. 
सल्फोलिन यूरियाज आर वाइडली यूज टू ट्रीट नॉन इंसुलिन डिपेंडेंट डायबिटीज मिलेटिस दिस ड्रग कैंडिडेट्स बाइंड्स टू एंड क्लोज ए टी पी सेंसिटिव पोटेशियम चैनल्स ऑन द सेल मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ पैनक्रिएटिक बीटा सेल्स रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस इज डीपोलराइजेशन ऑफ द सेल बाय इनिबिशन ऑफ पोटेशियम एग्जिट This depolarization opens voltage gated calcium channels and the rise in intracellular calcium leads to increased fusion of insulin granules with the cell membrane and therefore increased secretion of mature insulin Next one mode of action of bigonoids Bigonoids work by preventing the liver from converting fats and amino acids into glucose. They also activate an enzyme AMPK which is adenosine monophosphate activated protein kinase. This enzyme plays a vital role in cellular energy homeostasis largely to activate glucose and fatty acid uptake and oxidation when cellular energy is low. Next is mode of action of thiazolidine dions. The thiazolidine dions are used for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. They bind to peroxisome proliferator activated receptor gamma in adipocytes to promote adipogenesis and fatty acid uptake in peripheral but not visceral fat. Adipogenesis is the process of formation of adipocytes which are fat cells from stem cells. Now activation of this receptor regulates the transcription of several insulin responsive genes result of which is increased insulin sensitivity. Now last one mode of action of maglutinides Maglutinides bind to sulfonylurea receptor as well as to other distinct SUR1 receptor on the beta cell membrane that ultimately leads to the closure of ATP dependent potassium channels and depolarizes the beta cell membrane which in turn gives rise to calcium influx enhanced intracellular calcium and finally stimulation of insulin secretion SUR1 is one of the form of sulfonylurea receptor other two forms are SUR2A and SUR2B thank you